Hey everyone, I'm Silver. Welcome back to my channel. Today guys, today I wanted to do something different. And this is what I thought of. So as you know, I use this application right here quite a bit. And wait for it. Called Card Fight Vanguard Area. You know, it's a game you can uh, edit decks in here like build your own little lint joker if once it wants to catch up there you go sometimes it's slow sometimes it's fast but it's a nifty little application and most people know about it um, I will be producing a video or not producing but doing a video later this week on how you can download card fight area but I wanted to show you guys something else so as you can tell I have Photoshop right here is a photo of what we call the wait screen that you just saw and if you go into the little file section of your card fight area you have all these nifty little things like the card sprites that you can look at like we have enigma in there uh, gigant gigantic crusher for gold paladins and we just got mini we got everything there's mini sprites in here uh, my computer's being slow for some odd reason let's uh, close Skype really quickly okay <sighs> now that being closed is there anything else nope that's for another video so yes you can go in here and do some really cool things um if you go into this folder is the main thing and you can edit actually quite a bit like um like I added the wolf ears onto this so now when I when I click that character, you'll have as Wolf Ears. Um, Ren, I did some edits on my on my buddy Black Moon's Dragon for Ren, which you can go check out his channel for in our next card fight. But you can take any of these sprites and change the uh, model. I mean, really. You want a custom character, you just got to go into your little um, editor. And I'm going to show this by demonstrating what happens when you change the background of something like this so I want to make this as simple as possible so I'm not a big fan of this picture um, no offense to anyone that is it's just not my style so what we're gonna do is we're just going to erase this entire section get rid of the whole Aichi and Kai it's an okay picture but I just don't want it I want something with a little bit more difference to it that I I want my vanguard area to be unique and custom every time I load it in so we delete this get rid of all of that and we take the um, could do something like the patch tool and do this oh that was the heal tool I'm sorry I'm still getting used to Photoshop um the patch tool patch so you can patch that you can patch that see um but uh, we will control z that i don't know why that opened up over there okay we're back in photoshop control z um so let's just do where's the clone tool i forget where that is that's under paintbrush isn't it uh, maybe selection tool nope okay fine um well we can simply do this uh I did not mean to do ruler, I meant eyedropper, take the white, take the paintbrush, control D that, and with the paintbrush we can sort of, instead of it being pixels, do this, can white in this whole area right here, white up that a bit, want to make sure that's not soft, we want it to be a hard white, like the rest of this. So if it's a soft white, you might miss something. And then you choose the selection tool. And you go into edit, copy, and control D, and then edit, paste, edit, uh, edit, edit, paste, which is control V. I don't know why I'm doing it. Let's just do control V. Control V. Control V. Control V. 
And that's not all, you can copy this. Uh, control C. Up, um, okay, since that is an empty area, you gotta go back down here. Control C, Control V. Oh, um, control D. I'm still getting used to Photoshop. But yeah, so Control V, Control V. And I mean, you can just do this. Um, I'm gonna quickly add in a few more paw prints around here. Only because I'm sort of on a time crunch for this type of stuff. So um, just wanna sort of get as much of it done as quickly as possible while I'm talking with you guys. So um, if you guys like this type of stuff and you wanna see more, just let me know. And I can definitely do it. And I would have a lot of fun doing more of this for you guys if you want to see more. Okay, whoop, uh, there we go. So that is now my new background. So um, one thing you want to make sure before you get too far is you want to make sh check your properties on it. Make sure what type of file it needs to be. So it's a PEG file for this. Because if you don't make sure the file's right, then it's going to, um, well, no, the game's not going to want to work. Okay, back to Photoshop. That should be all the way over here. Okay, so you go to File, Save As, select your folder. I'm just going to save it to the Vanguard Edits folder. And I'm going to make it a ping file. Background menu, save. Okay, you're going to want to minimize. You're going to want to drag this onto your desktop. Um, nope, actually you can just straight up and delete that because I already saved one from earlier. Go to your Vanguard edits folder, pull out your new background, drop it in, and guys, now that I've done that, I can just click on the game. It's going to load in, and voila! You guys can do this for any of the things, any of the files as well. I mean, you can change it like if you do, if I go into test here, I made my own custom mat with my face and Black Moon. So go check out Black Moon's channel, link in the description below. You can really do this with anything. Um, sleeves, and I'll be doing a sleeve video um, later this week as well. There's a much, there's a different way you got to do it. But guys, it can be done. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it was short. And it doesn't have a lot of meat to it. I just wanted to show you guys something new. You can change the background of this into something really cool. But guys, until next time, I have been the Silver Wolf. I will see you all later. And peace.